Hi everyone and welcome to today's full body cardio yoga flow. In today's class we will do a short warm-up and we will then do one yoga flow that we will do three times. The first time I will show it more in a slower way that we get the alignment right and then we will repeat it two more times on both sides to get a little bit cardio in, to get circulation going and to get the heartbeat up. And we end with a little cool down and some core exercises. So I hope you enjoy this class. Let me know in the comments below and let's get started at the top of the mat. Bring your feet hip width apart and we will do something that I call half sun salutation. So we only do one part of sun salutations where we reach the arms up high, make yourself long, Exhale, bend at the hip, leading with your heart, come forward to a forward bend. Come to this forward bend, let your head hang heavy. Then hands to shins, lift up halfway. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, reach back up high. And exhale, hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Let's do this two more times a little faster. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, back to forward bend. Inhale, come back up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, back down. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do this one more time and then come back to downward facing dog. Inhale, come up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, come back down to forward bend. Stay here, bend to your legs. Bring both of your hands down and step back to downward facing dog. Take a short moment to warm up here. Bring one heel down and then the other. Find a good downward facing dog here. And then we do a little warm up here to roll forward to plank pose. Stay here for a moment and come back to downward facing dog. Two more times. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Okay, I hope you are a little warm now. Let's get started with our flow. So again, the first time I will do it rather slowly and then we repeat it quickly two times. So let's start in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up to three-legged dog. Bring your foot forward to the inside of the right hand. And we come up. To a high lunge. So bring the torso up. Make sure that your knee is over your ankle here. Pull the belly button in. Square your pelvis and reach your arms up high. Great. Stay strong here. Then bring your hands down to a prayer in front of your heart and we will include like a little yogi tai chi where we push the energy out first and then bring the energy in back to the heart. Awesome. Then find a vocal point in front of you, shift the weight forward and come to a warrior three pose. Find stability here and extend the arms in front of you. Awesome, keep your leg high as if you can. Then first bring your right arm to the back. Bring the right arm back forward, left arm to the back and back forward and come back to a high lunge just for one breath, inhale, exhale and open up to warrior two. So maybe widen your stand a little bit. Open your hips to the left side, sink down that your thigh is almost parallel to the mat. Spread your arms out wide. Relax your shoulders down and away from your ears.
then flip your front leg around and we come to reverse warrior so reach up and to the back deep inhale here and come back to warrior two and come right into a side angle where you bring your forearm onto your thigh and you reach your left arm up high or to the front great and then bring both hands down and step back to downward facing dog so that's our flow let's do it on the other side slowly and then we do it two times on each side but rather quickly so lift the left leg up three legged dog come forward prepare for your high lunge Bring the torso up high, reach your arms up, pull the belly button in, square your hips. Extend the right leg behind you, so it should be really, really extended here. Reach the arms up and relax your shoulders down. Find stability here first. Then bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Push the energy out, then bring it back in. Hands are at a prayer in front of your heart. Slowly lean forward and come to warrior three. Both arms extend first. Lift the back leg up. Then first bring the left arm to the back and to the front. Right arm to the back and to the front. Step back. Ooh, don't fall. Step back to high lunge and open up to warrior two. Sink down deep here. Pull the belly button in, make sure your knee is over your ankle and your heels are aligned here. Then spread your arms out wide and gaze over your left middle finger. Then bring the right hand back on your leg and reach your left arm up and over to reverse warrior. Deep breaths into your ribcage here. Then come back forward to area two for a moment and come straight into your side angle where you reach your right arm up high. Imagine there's a wall behind you and you press your shoulders, so both of your shoulders against the wall behind you. If you want to, you can reach your arm forward, whatever feels better here. And then bring both hands down and step back to downward facing dog. Bring the knees down for a moment and relax in child's pose. Then slowly come back up and we will repeat this flow two times on each side. So let's get flowing. Inhale, right leg goes up, right leg forward, come up to high lunge first. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart, push the energy out, bring the energy in, lean forward to your warrior three, extend both arms to the front, Right arm goes back, left arm goes back, both arms forward, back to high lunge, open to warrior two, reverse your warrior and come to your side angle. Great, bring both hands down, step back to downward facing dog, other side, inhale, left leg goes up, bring it forward and come up. To your high lunge first bring the hands to a prayer in front of your heart push your arms out bring them back in find the vocal point in front of you and come up to warrior three both arms go to the front left arm goes back and right arm goes back both arms to the front and we come up to high lunge Pivot the heel down, open to warrior two, reverse your warrior and come forward to side angle and 
Bring both hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Bring your knees down and rest in child's pose. Let's do this one more time. I know this is a little bit more difficult today. Bring your hips up high to your downward facing dog and we get flowing. Inhale, wide leg goes back. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, up to high lunge. Bring the prayer down to your heart. Push the energy out. Bring the energy in. Come forward to warrior three, extend the arms. Left arm comes back and right arm comes back. Both arms to the front, inhale back to high lunge. Exhale, open up to warrior two, reverse your warrior. And exhale, come forward to your side angle and bring both hands down to the ground. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, left foot comes forward. Inhale, up to high lunge. Exhale, hands to heart. Push the energy out. Bring it in. Find the vocal point. Step forward to warrior three. Extend both arms to the front. Right arm comes back. Left arm comes back, both arms forward, back to high lunge, open to warrior two, reverse your warrior to the back and come forward to your side angle. One more breath, goodbye here. And bring both hands down, step back to downward facing dog. One more breath here together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. Then bring your knees down to the mat. And we do a little stretching before we do our core poses. So come to a wide legged seat first. So bring both of your legs as wide apart as possible. If this is like this, totally fine but you should be somehow able to sit up straight here. Then make your spine long and if possible, try to walk your arms and your hands forward a little bit. Let your head hang heavy and relax for a moment. Then walk your hands back in, lift the knees up, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall to the side and come to this butterfly pose. Again, make your spine long first, extend up to the ceiling and then gently fall over your feet. You can put a little pressure on your knees with your elbows here just to deepen the stretch.
then come back up to center and we will quickly do two core exercises i know you always love them so lay down on your back and for our first exercise bring your legs up to the ceiling that really the soles of your feet are parallel to the ceiling and then let's pretend there is a rope coming out of your big toes and you want to use this uh, rope to climb up. So lift your shoulders up, your shoulder blade should not touch the mat and then let's start to pull this rope and pull yourself up to your big toes. Pull, pull, pull. We only do this for a couple of seconds. Pull as fast as you can. Reach up as high as you can to come up to your big toes. A few more. And come back down, bring your knees into your chest and rest for a moment. Our second pose for core is our bicycle pose today, where we extend one leg, the right leg to the front, bring both of your hands to your neck, and then touch your left knee with your right elbow, and we switch. And do your bicycles. We do 20 in total. Stay focused. I know this is not that easy and you will feel your core burning, but keep going. One more on each side, and come back, laying down, knees into your chest, deep belly press here. Keep your right knee in your chest, extend the left leg to the front, open up the right arm to the side and bring your right knee over to the left side for a nice supine twist. Both shoulders stay on the mat here, just for a moment. Come back to center and we switch sides. Left knee comes into the chest. Extend your arm out wide and bring the left knee over to the right side. back to center, bring both knees into your chest, lift your head up high so that your nose is touching your knee and then extend your arms and your legs to the sides. Take one more deep breath in and out. Shavasana.
slowly start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Bring your arms over the head, stretch from head to toe and roll over to one side. Then slowly come up to a seated position on your mat. Cross your legs in front of you. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Thanks for practicing with me today. Namaste.